Hey guys, it's Nareta Boyle, your health educator here at the Fresno American Indian Health Project. I help coordinate the Family Spirit Program. If you're unfamiliar with the Family Spirit Program, it is our program for native expectant mothers as well as parents and or caregivers of native children under the age of three. If you have any questions about the program or want to join, please call us here at the project. But today for our weekly Facebook post, I wanted to talk to you all about baby sign language. So baby sign language is really great because it is a tool and a resource for you to communicate with little ones as their language skills are developing. It's also a great tool for parents or caregivers of little ones who may have developmental delays or communication issues. So with that being said, we're going to start with our first words and I have a few index cards to help me with that. So the first word is dad. So the way we would sign that is dad. Now going hand in hand with that would be mom. So that would be mom. The next word is more. That one's pretty easy. And that may be one you may want to start off with more. So when baby is eating, you can go to him or her and say, do you want more? And tied in with that one would be odd done. So odd done. When we're learning these words or teaching our little ones these words, we want to make sure that we over enunciate the word. We don't use an abbreviation and we don't use baby talk. So like I said, that one goes hand in hand. So those are great words to start off with. So you may want to start off, do you want more or are you all done? Our next word is play. This one is so much fun. Play. Do you want to go play? Our next word is milk. Kind of think like you're milking a cow. Milk. Going hand in hand with that one is water. Water. You make a W. Water. So um, I don't have an index card for that. So drink is drink. Do you want to drink? Do you want water? Do you want milk? Eat. Eat. Sleep. Sleep. Do you want to go sleep? It's time to go to sleep. And our last one is please. It is never too early to start teaching our little ones manners. So please put your hands to your chest and make a circular motion with your dominant hand. Please. The little ones are probably not going to be able to master these words um, from the get-go. So please be patient with them and with time they're going to be able to sign correctly and pronounce the word correctly. They may start off with doing it on their belly or maybe going up and down. But again, with practice, they will get better. And you also don't want to start off with too many words. So maybe two, three, four words top. And then as they master those words, you can introduce new words. The last thing I wanted to highlight is the importance of introducing reading to little ones. Even if you're unable to read, you can always get a picture book and kind of just make up your story. Um, going with the pictures. If you don't already have books at home, you can always go to the library system and um, get yourself a library card. And if you don't know or are unfamiliar on how to get a library card, you can give me a call here at the project and just ask for the Family Spirit Program. Or you can go online and log on to the Fresno, um, Fresno County Library System and they will walk you with um, through how to get a library card. Again, these words are great to introduce and we want to introduce words and sounds and spark imagination and just promote learning overall. Again, I want to invite you to be part of our Family Spirit Program and you can learn more about that by giving us a call here at the project.